Good eating habits contribute to health and fitness and make you feel strong. What is so good about a diet of vegetables and fruit combined with lean meat, preferably chicken or fish, you might ask? If you are very tired, hungry, and upset, there is nothing better than a juicy beef burger with fries or a giant pizza, you think. That's probably true if your brain has gotten used to the pleasure felt when tasting junk food. But is it good for you? Does it help you stay fit and control your weight? How do you feel after you've had a meal? Are you sure it's not time to break the habit? Breaking the habit, getting healthy. The following is a checklist to help you decide if it's time for you or a friend to change eating habits. Just one warning sign should be enough reason to take action. You shouldn't think junk food the minute you start feeling hungry. There never is an acceptable reason for this. It is a definite sign of a habit that is on the way to becoming an addiction. Comfort eating is usually associated with junk food and, in general, high-calorie food that is also high in carbohydrates, starch and sugar, and saturated fat. If you run to the nearest fast food chain every time you feel down, you know it is out of control. A healthy, nutritious meal does not have to be bland and boring. When pushed, you can picture appetizing dishes that do not contain fries or fatty ingredients, but you still prefer to get a hold of a beef burger or a pizza. You know it's not the best food for you. You know that you are going to feel sleepy and tired after you have eaten. To be honest, healthy is a relative term. It all depends on what your alternatives are. There are healthier choices you can make, even at a fast food restaurant. You might, for example, order salad as a side dish instead of a second helping of fries. You could avoid condiments such as ketchup or mayonnaise or eat a chicken burger. You know all this. You have promised yourself to do it next time you are there, but somehow it never happens. You keep insisting that those dishes take longer to prepare. But breaking a habit can leave you feeling down. Don't worry, this is quite common, and it shouldn't last very long if you stick to your decision to give up junk food. You ought to decide on your own if it's best to cut down on the amount of junk food you eat gradually over a period of time, or whether it's best to stop altogether for some time. You should allow yourself some time to do it successfully. You shouldn't give up simply because you were with friends and joined them for dinner at a fast food restaurant or because you helped yourself to a few fries. Pick up some menus from different restaurants and read them carefully, paying attention to the ingredients of each dish. Then, Highlight the dishes that you find interesting. You might go to the supermarket and wander around making a list of all the food and ingredients that you find attractive. If a friend insists on offering you junk food, turn down the offer and treat yourself to something nice. The important thing is to regain control and only eat junk food when nothing else is available or very occasionally for a change. Make a list of all the things you enjoy doing but had to give up because you gained weight or do not feel energetic enough. Decide what you would like to do again and when. Set yourself goals that are achievable and enjoyable. Treat yourself right.